we start our second season in for Premier League, showing you in today's video the match highlights. But last season was end of an era as we say goodbye to our old stadium. In this video, we are going to be saying hello to our shiny new stadium, the Helmel Hempstead Stadium. So it is now open. Our 16,999 capacity stadium is open. I'm not going to show you the highlights of the first game because it's only a friendly, but we will get to the first home game of the season as a highlight just to show it, right? Just to show it why not. We have currently sold 13,501 season tickets for the upcoming season. Just think our last stadium was about 5,000 and we were selling out that each week. And for us to sell 80-85% of our tickets already to season ticket holders, that means we only need to sell about 3,000 tickets to have sell out each week. Wow, maybe we needed a bigger stadium. We had a pretty good pre-season being unbeaten. We played out in America against Birmingham, Legion, Philadelphia, New England, New York City FC, New York. And then we came back and played a couple of home games at our new stadium against Freiburg and Sevilla. Beat Sevilla 4-1. Is that signs of things to come or is that just looking at it going only a friendly? Well... Our first game of the season, we play away to Bournemouth and we win 4-0. Ah, I'm just so surprised of the start. But will it last? Because our first competitive game in our new stadium is against Chelsea. How will we do? So first minute of the game in our new stadium and we go a goal down against Chelsea. Shadelda gets the goal. But we take the game to Chelsea and in the 32nd minute, Morales, our right back, finds the equaliser. But we're not done there because in the second half, in the 64th minute, Roberts breaks through and finds Wood to get the winner. And we beat Chelsea at home 2-1. Just jumping back to the Chelsea highlights because I've got a bone to pick with whoever designed my stadium or whoever built it. Uh, we know it's that whoever creates the game, this is what you get, right? Right, a few things. Top of my picture, I've got Portaloos and Bins in the corner. That is disgusting. Why? Why have we got that? Second thing to pick, look at the tunnels. Look over here on the tunnel. The flag is, it's all dirty. There's black marks everywhere. They're all around the stadium. Why? Even on the steps, it's filthy. Even if the seats look filthy, I was expecting a nice shiny stadium. Another thing to pick holes in. Why have I not got digital sponsor boards? It's a modern stadium. It's a brand new stadium. Surely, surely, being in a premiership, we could have afforded that. Is it because we started building this in, I think, when did we start in Championship League One? Is it because of that, that we get such a crap stadium? If we went, oh, we're building a new stadium and I was in Premiership, but I've got something better. But then again, would it cost me more? If the stadium cost us £25 million, so I was never expecting for best, but I'd expect us to pay for a bloody cleaner after construction. Is that construction marks? Did we just not clean it? <laughs> anyway, I'll keep on going on. I'm excited for the additional money that it's going to generate for the club, but I'm not happy with uh, the stadium that we've been given by the game makers. For the rest of the first month of the season, we go away and we play Nottingham Forest and we beat them 5-0. So our first three games of the season so far, we've won 4-0, 2-1 and 5-0. Wow, wow, wow. I think it's time to rest our first teamers and give us reserve team a bit of game time because I'm not that interested in for Carabao Cup and we're playing Tottenham at home and we lose 3-2. Our first loss of the season. Our first loss at home at our new stadium. Can I even call it new after showing you how bad it looks? Then we start the month of September against Newcastle at home and we win 1-0. And then we play Ipswich away. We lose 2-1. And then we play Tottenham at home again. We lose 3-0. Play away against Liverpool. We lose 3-0. 
That means September we only won one game and scored two goals. Oh dear, is there a problem? Because then for month of October, we only have two games, presuming it's an international duty. That's why we play against Man United and Everton, home and away, and we lose both of those games 3-0. That is now four games without a goal. And unfortunately, that continues into the month of November as we go and play Man City at home. We lose 4-0. So it's not even getting better. We're letting in even more goals because we play Leeds away, which is a game that I was hoping could change our tide by trying to get a point, salvage a draw. But no, we lose 4-0. Time for change and tweaking tactic time to try and find resolution to this bad run. Losing seven games in a row and only scoring one goal in those games. We then end the month of November against Southampton at home. And this is how it fares. Fourth minute on for clock. Roberts runs down. On for right, crosses it in and finds Limiter, the most determined player in the world, gets us a goal, much needed goal. And this sets us on the way as Wood finds it in the box, curls it into the goalkeeper's left. We're not finished there in the 62nd minute because we find a third through Ledwards, lovely little header. And then in the 79th minute, Southampton gets a consolation goal with a lovely dip and pull through our defence and find it's past Ferreras. And it finishes 3-1. Oh, we finally get a result. Well, we finally get a win after seven losses in a row. And we score three goals. Much, much needed. Canvas now sets us on for way for the rest of the season. And in December, it does set us on the way as we play Stoke away and we get another 3-1 victory. We then play Wolves at home and we beat them 4-0. Wow, wow, wow. Things are starting to turn. Is it because we're playing not, not for top opposition? Because in that losing streak, we did play Tottenham, Liverpool, Man United and Man City. Four games out for seven where we was most expected to lose. We then get a one all draw at home against Aston Villa. And then we get another draw against Brentford at Brentford. Two all. And then we get a big, big win at home. 5-2 against West Ham. Wow. We have now started finding for net. Then on Boxing Day, we play Brighton away and we draw one all. That means we've now gone seven games unbeaten. So from our seven games where we couldn't get a win, we're now seven games unbeaten. And we end for month and this video with highlights against Arsenal and we're playing at home. We've got the ball in for fourth minute. We attack on for less with Tremble. Ledwards finds it in, gets the first goal. Wow, we really can find for net. We will go through any tactical changes after this game. But Arsenal does find an equaliser in for six minutes. Only two minutes after we find the net. But that's okay because in the 35th minute, Tremble gets into our box and finds Limite in for score. Goal position. I'm losing my words. But then some scrap defending and we don't clear our lines in 6 6 minute. Arsenal get a goal. But then they go ahead. They go ahead 3 2 in for 83rd minute. But it's okay because in for 89th minute, we find it down for right. Oscar with a lovely ball into Harris. And that makes it 3 all. Finishes the game with a draw. Unbeaten in for month of December and taking our unbeaten run to eight games. What an end to the first half of the season. We started off with some unexpected victories. Then we go on a bad run where we can't even bloody score. And then we go on a lovely unbeaten run just to take us up the table, which we will go through in the next video. So not much has changed in a tactical position, if I'm honest, for anything that we have done. Last season, we changed our defence midfielders to defence. And this season, we've changed our inside forwards to supporting roles. That is the only change that we've made. So last season, DMs, defensive, not support. And this season, inside forwards, 
support not attacking. Again, just being more conservative. Yes, our midfield has gone more defence, but there's no one supporting in that in between defence midfield and for attacking midfield or striker. So with now having Ledwoods and Wood, our, mate, our £50 million striker is also playing as our winger because Lemite is actually getting some goals, as you saw from the highlights. And it's going all right so far. Uh, with this tactic obviously we've gone on a bit of a run well that's all for time that we have for in today's video up and down up and down i said in the last video have we done enough in the transfer market to bring consistency yes and no because we didn't have consistency through the beginning of the season so far but we are slowly finding it and if we can hold that consistency are we going to be expectations and get into europe or are we going to get inconsistency and drop down to mid table and possibly find us in another relegation battle i hope not but if you like this video you know what you need to do hit that like button and if you'd like to continue following our journey and supporting the channel hit that subscribe button and i will catch you on for next one.